today, Math Buddies. For this video, we will be learning all about mathematics. So just buckle up, relax, and all together, let's learn in an interesting and exciting way. For today's video, we will be aligned with these objectives. We will be illustrating quadratic equation. We will write quadratic equation in standard form and identify the values of A, B, and C of a quadratic equation. So to start with, what is a quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is defined as a mathematical sentence of degree 2 written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. The standard form is presented as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where ax squared is our quadratic term, bx is our linear term, and c is our constant term. There are different forms of a quadratic equation. One is ax squared equals 0, or the quadratic term alone. AX squared plus BX equals zero, composed of quadratic term and linear term. AX squared plus C equals zero, where quadratic term and constant term are given. And AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, or the standard form of quadratic equation. Let's have some of the examples. Negative 3x squared equals 0. 4x squared plus 7x equals 0. x squared minus 11 equals 0. And 5x squared minus 2x plus 8 equals 0. If we are trying to notice, these equations have the highest degree of exponent, which is 2. This time, let us identify the values of a, b, and c of a quadratic equation. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c of a quadratic equation in the form ax squared equals 0. Negative 3x squared equals 0. Here, in this equation, the value of our a is equal to negative 3, while b and C are both equal to 0. X squared equals 0. Here, A is equal to 1, wherein it is self-understood that if there is no coefficient written before the variable, the value will be equal to 1. Again, B and C are both 0. 9X squared equals 0. Here, a is equal to 9. Again, B and C are both 0. I think you can do this. Now, it's your turn. Dear buddies, kindly you get a pen and piece of paper, then write your answers. You can pause this video for you to answer. Here are our equations. Let's also identify values of A, B, and C in the form ax squared plus bx equals 0. Examples. 4x squared plus 7x equals 0. Here, a is equal to 4, b is 7, and c is equal to 0. 2x squared plus 3x equals 0. Here, a is 2, b is 3, and again, C is 0. Negative x squared plus 6x equals 0. Here, A is negative 1. We must be careful with our negative symbol. B is 6. And C is 0. If we are trying to notice, an AX squared plus BX equals 0 
form, the value of our C is equal to 0. Now, it's your turn. Kindly get a pen and piece of paper, then again, write your answers. Here are our equations. Now, let's identify values of A, B, and C in the form AX squared plus C equals 0. Here are our examples. X squared plus 9 equals 0. Here, A is 1, B is 0, and C is 9. Negative 4X squared plus 1 equals 0. A is equal to negative 4, B is 0, and C is 1. Negative x squared plus 6 equals 0. A is negative 1, B is 0, and C is 6. In AX squared plus C equals 0 form, the value of our B is equal to 0. With that, it is your turn to write your answers for the following equations. Let's also identify values of a, b, and c in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, or the standard form of a quadratic equation. Here are our examples. x squared plus 9x minus 1 equals 0. In this form, we will identify a, which is equal to 1, b, which is 9, and c, equals negative 1. Second example, negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 21 equals 0. A is equal to negative 3, B is 6, and C is negative 21. Now, it's your turn. Let's remember this. Not all quadratic equations are written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So our task for this video is to write quadratic equation in standard form and identify the values of a, b, and c. Let's have example number 1. 4 plus 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. In this form, it is not written in a descending order where a term with the highest degree of exponent will come first. Therefore, this equation is not written in standard form. So how will we do it? All we need to do is to rearrange the expression. Because they are all lying on the same side of the equation, their signs will be carried over. So first thing that we will write is the quadratic term first. So we have 3x squared, followed by the linear term, negative 2x, and the constant term. So positive 4, or we'll have the third term, which is plus 4, then equals 0. In this equation, they are now written in standard form. 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Here, we can identify directly that our a is equal to 3, b is negative 2, and c is 4. Let's have our example number 2. x squared minus 7 equals 4x. Here, we have 4x written on the right side of the equation. Thus, this equation is not written in standard form. So how will we simplify it? All we need to do is to utilize the idea of subtraction property of equality. We will subtract both sides by 4x to make the right side of the equation equal to 0. Therefore, the standard form is x squared minus 4x minus 7 equals 0. Then we can identify our a equals 1, b is negative 4, and c negative 7. 
Let's have example number 3. x times the quantity x plus 3 minus 4 equals 0. This is not written in standard form. Let's simplify using distributive property. So all we need to do is to distribute x to the terms inside the parentheses. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. This equation is now a standard form. We can identify directly the value of our a equals 1, b is 3, and c is negative 4. Quantity of x minus 2 squared minus 7 equals 0. This is not written in standard form. So how will we simplify this? Expand the square of a binomial and make it a perfect square trinomial. So x minus 2 squared can be written in a perfect square trinomial as x squared minus 4x plus 4, then copy minus 7 equals 0. Then, combine similar terms. I am referring to 4 and negative 7. Therefore, the simplified form is x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0, where a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is negative 3. So bear in our mind, dear math buddies, the definition of a quadratic equation, it is a mathematical sentence of degree 2, written in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and A is not equal to 0.